Hey everybody, I'm Justin with ExtremeTerrain.com and in this video, we're gonna run down a few different ways to change up the front end of that 21 and newer Bronco at home. Now in this video, I plan on going from mild to wild in regards to front end protection and appearance to hopefully help you guys at home make a decision for your two or four door rig. We're gonna talk some pros, we're gonna talk some cons of each here along with what to expect from a price point perspective. So what do you say we get into our first option? First up, we have a popular entry-level option for Bronco owners who don't want to completely swap out their bumper, and that is a bull bar. Now, you will find a few different options here on the site when it comes to bull bars, but the option that we're showing you in this video is from Rough Country with their nudge bar. Now, this guy's gonna come in around that mid $300 price point. Uh, it does get a little bit more expensive if you add some lighting, but you do have some options when it comes to shopping. Now, that nudge bar, I would say, is really a perfect way to kind of sum these things up because they're going to be good for light front end protection while also providing you with some light mounting options, but really shouldn't be used for all out protection like some of our upcoming options. Now, also important to mention here, guys, is that some of these bull bars will only work with base plastic bumper Broncos out there. However, Rough Country does offer a nudge bar for both the base and the modular steel options. Materials here will be a very tough tubular steel build, which is then finished off in a textured black powder coat to help add some durability over the years. Now, this particular option does not include any add-ons such as the skid plate or the lighting we talked about earlier, but you can find other bull bars that will include either a skid plate or lighting or even both. Now, with that being said, guys, one of the big perks here with the nudge bar from Rough Country or other options for that matter is the lighting possibilities you can add thanks to the included tabs. Now, even though the Bronco has a bunch of options for auxiliary lighting right out of the box, it's not always easy to get them mounted to the front of your rig without drilling. Now, with this thing here in place, the rough country, the sky is the limit. Light bars, three inch cubes, four inch round lights, and more are all possible thanks to the design of this and others. Now, even though a majority of the bull bar category will not be up to the task of heavy impacts or abuse on or off road, you can find other options out there that will be up to such tasks, such as different push bars or you can always consider one of our next options instead. But if you're looking to make a visual impact, add some easy to mount lighting, all while adding a small touch of protection from low speed bumps and dings, well then a bull bar would certainly be a great choice. But what if you wanted to up not only the protection, but also the approach angle and aggressiveness of your Bronco? Well, for that, it's time to start looking into a full coverage steel replacement bumper. Now, the option that we're talking about here today is from our friends over at Icon with their Trail Series bumper, which is gonna come in around at 12 to $1,300 price point, and will be a very nice upgrade over the base bumpers in just about every single way. Now, this option completely replaces the factory bumper with stronger materials, typically a plate steel construction, as is the case here with the Icon and its 3 16 inch plate steel build and satin black powder coat. Now, like the nudge bar we just talked about, the Icon Trail Series does allow for additional lighting possibilities, such as five three inch cubes or a singular 20 inch light bar. You're also looking at burly one inch thick recovery points, CNC cut mesh for cooling and mounts for factory options, such as parking sensors and adaptive cruise control. Now, along with strong materials and a corresponding lifetime warranty, you're also going to see things like a little bit more coverage than your factory bumper, but where it matters most while still offering the added approach angle that the hardcore off-roaders will really appreciate. Now, with that being said, the Icon is admittedly more of a basic bumper replacement and will not include things like winch capabilities, additional grill protection, or skid plates right out of the box. However, it is still a very nice, very tough upgrade for most Bronco owners out there who don't need a ton of added features such as winch mounts or a ton of extra coverage. On the other hand, if you demand more capability out of your bumper, then you might want to consider our next option instead. Up next, we have what I would call the Swiss Army knife of the aftermarket bumper world, and that is the Addictive Desert Designs Rock Fighter winch capable front bumper coming in at around 2,500 bucks, give or take. Now, the ADD bumpers continue to be one of the nicest options in the category, and that's why Bronco owners will have to pay a premium to get the made in the USA hand built quality piece 
on his or her rig. Now, where previous options delivered a nice steel upgrade over a base plastic bumper, the ADD takes that a step further and gives base and modular bumper Bronco owners something to really crank both the functionality and protection of their rigs. Pros include the high quality hand welded radius steel build finished in a black powder coat. Now that radius steel allows for a very tight finish to the body of the Bronco. And believe me, it is something you will appreciate when you start comparing this to more affordable bumpers that tend to stick out a little bit further. Now, like the previous option, you are also getting those high tucked end for more improved approach angles. In addition to reinforced ring or clevis mounts, along with parking sensor cutouts, adaptive cruise control capabilities, and the opening for the factory intercooler. But that's really where the similarities end. The ADD takes things up a level by offering a spot for a 12,000 pound winch, which will be crucial for those Bronco owners out there who value the ability to pull themselves out of a tough situation. Now, on top of that, the ADD does up the lighting possibilities a bit here by giving you a spot in the middle for either a 20 inch radius light bar or five three inch cubes. You can even mount two four inch or larger round lights next to the winch, along with the low profile top hoop, which is gonna give this thing an even tougher look and add some additional protection. Now, the ADD can also reuse use the factory skid plate with a little trimming to keep the cost down, or you can splurge for their optional 3 16 inch aluminum plate for even more protection. Not too many cons to talk about here other than the price. At the cost of a rather nice mortgage payment, the ADD option will certainly not be for everyone. However, if you value equal parts functionality and quality, there really aren't many companies out there that will do it better. But what if you want most, if not all of the features of the ADD, but with even more approach angle and for a third of the price? Well, for that, you have to check out the Barricade HD stubby winch mount option that we're talking about next. Now, Barricade has quickly made a name for themselves as producers of affordable bumpers that still pack plenty of features and the HD stubby is gonna be exactly that, coming in at right around that $900 to $1,000 price point. Pros include the very affordable price tag along with the number of features, the biggest of which in this case will be that stubby design. Now these stubby bumpers have always been huge in the Jeep world because they offer unparalleled approach angle for the six gen rock bouncers out there while still packing a lot of lighting and recovering possibilities of the more expensive options. Now, for instance, just like the ADD Rock Fighter that we just talked about, you do get space for a 12,000 pound winch here at the Barricade. You also get reinforced D-ring mounts, overrider hoop, and some lighting opportunities throughout. You're also getting parking sensor locations, adaptive cruise relocation without the need to purchase any additional brackets, by the way, along with a stout steel plate build and two-stage epoxy powder coat. Now, one thing the Barricade has that no other option on the list today offers is a bottle opener. Silly as it sounds, always gonna get some bonus points with me. Now, cons really just boils down to the appearance of the stubby, which does protrude a little bit further off the nose than your more expensive options, such as the ADD we just talked about, and also the awkwardness of the appearance of the stubby bumper not aligning with the fenders. Now, at the end of the day, that is the point of a stubby bumper. So if you're a function over form type of person, it's really hard to argue with the bang for your buck that you're getting here out of the barricade. Last but not least, we save the burliest of the bunch, the full coverage bumper that's gonna deliver the most protection for the entire front end, along with offering a ton of functionality and recovery capabilities that a lot of off-roaders value. Now for the full coverage option we're talking about here today in this video, we're featuring the ARB Summit that you can find here on the site for around 2,000 bucks. Now the ARB does deliver that brush guard level of protection and aggressive style, protecting the front end and grip grill area with a rock solid build quality and very tough steel. Pros do include that all out protection thanks to the full coverage bumper here, thanks to that wide base paired with the two and a half inch mandrel bent steel tubing that makes its way up into the grill and around the headlights, but at the same time still allows for plenty of approach angle without sacrificing any coverage. And unlike our last option, the ARB will be a full width bumper, which is gonna look right at home with both narrow and wide fender flares alike. 
Now the ARV will still deliver some recovery capabilities thanks to the 10,000 pound winch plate, attractive red tow hooks and cutouts for fog lights, parking sensors, and airflow for the factory intercooler. On top of all that guys, the ARV does also give you even more options for light mounting thanks to the wide cutout in the middle, along with spots for rounds on the top here, and maybe one of the most unique features being the twin jack locations on the front bumper. Cons will really only boil down to two things in my opinion, the first of which will of course be price. You're looking at that $1,900 to $2,000 price range. Certainly a lot of money, but still more affordable than the ADD. Second con here will be the weight. At just shy of 200 pounds, the ARB will not only take some muscle to get installed, but also might contribute to a little more front end sag when fully equipped with a winch and lighting. Now, if that added weight doesn't bother you, you'll be hard pressed to find another bumper on the site that will offer more protection and more features for the money. So there you have it guys, a brief rundown of a few different styles of front end protection or bumpers that you will encounter here on the site for your Bronco. As always, this is just a small sample size of the many different options you'll find here at XT. So feel free to browse the entire selection. And if you have any questions, just drop them below and we'll be happy to get back to you at any point. In the meantime, I'm Justin, thanks for watching. And for all things Bronco, keep it right here at extremeterrain.com.